Hey everyone, so I just want to let y'all know um, that this is a part two to this video. I did one a couple days ago about these controllers, the Candy, the Candy Con. Um, so this is the me after playing with it review. So if you're interested in like how it's designed to build up the feel, go to the first video. I'll link that in the description. But this is I practically just going to tell you my experience and some and some stuff that happened while I was playing this or playing with the controller. So real quick, if you're someone who plays it on Switch, you probably notice like, hey, it's missing a few buttons. What's going on here? So I want to explain that real quick because I noticed this as uh, soon as I got home. Where are those four buttons at? So this is the home button and the power button. So this practically turns it on and puts it home. Okay, so if you're someone who um, gets confused on that, yeah, the, home, the power button is the home button. But they moved the plus picture and minus buttons down here. I don't know why. But they did. Um, I'm gonna let you know. I actually liked it. I felt it felt pretty good for me, as you see. I got pretty big hands, so it's easy to just be like hips, paws like that, and everything. So it was pretty cool. Controller actually did really well. So I tried it on my Switch and my PC, and I played some taxing games to give you some some idea, right? So I did play something like Monster Hunter, and I felt the controller did really well. It wasn't responding. I didn't notice any input lags. I didn't notice. Um, any bigger problem, major problems with it? Um, same thing with Pokemon Unite. Played it, no problems. And I didn't. I, I'm trying to remember what that last game was. I played like one more game that I know taxes controllers, and I didn't have no problem with that. It, fuck, I can't remember the name. But then I switched it to PC and I tried it again. And I'm gonna let y'all know. Um, according to the instruction manual, when you get with this thing, you might have to read that real quick because sometimes some PCs you have to map the buttons with this controller. And you have to do, maybe you can do two to explain why. So let me turn this controller over. As you can see here, there's these two buttons on the side and this one in the middle, right? And this switch. So practically you have to turn this over to PC to use it on PC. And if you remember my last video, I had this little black piece. Well, that's practically if you want to play a wireless. So practically, um, if you need, you need that thing charged, you need this, need this thing charged. To uh, well, you need power to both in order to play this wirelessly. If you don't have that piece, you have to do the hard connection like usual. Um, also, back to the switch part, I forgot to mention that you can't sync this like you would a normal switch controller. You have to literally do the wire um, sync, which I know some people might have a hard time with that. I did, but it worked fine once you get a sync. But back to the PC. So on PC, it gives you these two options of mode one and mode two, right? So practically, um, from the instructions, how they um, presented it to me was you could actually put three types of button commands on this according to the instructions. You can have default where practically this does whatever a button does normally, but then you had a turbo feature, which um, I don't, I never used a turbo controller, so I couldn't tell you what the importance of those are. But you can set it up for terminal or you can set it up for shortcuts. It tells you in the instructions how to set it for shortcuts and it makes it a bit easier. So I'm pretty cool. But yeah, I think that was um the thing about it. now the problems that I did have, and this is mostly a memory problem, is you see this switch right here? Apparently, if you switch it to whatever you played it on, you have to switch it back. Now, one thing I realized when I was doing it was when I was trying to pee, when I was trying to play my switch after the PC, I forgot to flick the switch over. And when I turned it on, it didn't really work. Um, it didn't connect to the switch like normal go figure, right? But I thought maybe if I just turn it over, it'll turn on automatically. No, that didn't work either. Like it did not do shit. So practically what I learned is you have to switch it back to PC, find a way to control, turn the controller off from your PC and then flick it to the, in the flick it to switch and then hit the power button. You're good to go. So overall, I think this is actually a really, um, good controller they also put in the instruction manual how to fix stick drift and um how if you are someone who plays playing the users on pc they give you a website for firmware updates just in case you need it if you have it for switch you're practically good based on what i'm told but yeah overall i recommend this controller it was actually super easy to use super easy to play i got used to the buttons real fast it, it felt really good felt really durable so yeah recommend it. i give I definitely tell you give this a shot.